Hello, my name is Beyond Elysia, and I'm a senior at the Community Charter School of Cambridge, and I'm also an intern at the Broad Institute. Today, I'll be interviewing scientists who work in the Broad Cancer Program. Hey, Beyondi, it's great to, to talk with you about the Broad's uh, cancer program. We're really a community of scientists that are all working together with doctors and hospitals that are treating cancer patients to try to make cancer a thing of the past. My name is Zuzana Totavine. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in Dr. Benjamin Ebert's laboratory here in the cancer program at the Broad Institute. Hello, Beyondi. I'm Marios Giannakis. I'm a physician scientist, and at the Broad Cancer Program, I do cancer research in the laboratory. Corey Johansson, I'm a postdoctoral scientist and instructor of medicine here at the Broad Institute in Cambridge. I'm Alice Berger, and I'm in the Meyerson lab in the cancer program at the Broad Institute. I know that chemotherapy is a common cancer treatment. Why are you searching for more options? About 20 years ago, almost every type of cancer was treated in a very similar way. Doctors looked at the part of the body that the cancer came from, and they gave everybody whose cancer came from the same part of the body about the same therapy. Chemotherapy is also sometimes referred to as cytotoxic chemotherapy. Ch chemotherapy works quite well. Uh, it's really good at killing cells. The challenge with chemotherapies is that you're always trying to give a patient enough to kill their cancer without hurting them too much. Patients that are treated with chemotherapy drugs develop a lot of side effects, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, hair loss, and many others. I've heard about targeted therapy. Could you explain what it is? So targeted therapy tries to get around the problem of chemotherapy, which cannot distinguish between cancer cells and normal cells. If we can identify the particular thing to block in a cancer cell that no other cell in the body has at all, we think that'll be a much more effective therapy, and that's kind of called a targeted therapy. Unlike chemotherapy, targeted therapies are trying to uncover the Achilles heel of a cancer cell while leaving the normal cells untouched. Targeted therapy is a type of cancer therapy that can involve either small molecules or antibodies, any kind of drug, but that drug is specifically designed to work against one specific target or protein in the cell. Predominantly what we're doing here at the Broad is to really be able to look very broadly and figure out what are the, what's the best way to match up one drug with one patient or one patient's tumor. If you see some of these uh, medical scans of patients whose cancers are actually very, uh, very bad, that they have many, many tumors all over their body, and it looks like doctors have given them you know, a few weeks or a few months to live. If you understand this, these genetics and you give the patient the right targeted therapy, you can see that like almost all the cancer cells in the body completely melt away and disappear. These unbelievably dramatic effects that no one has ever seen before in history. How do you make a targeted drug? Well, it's a complicated process. Uh, it takes a very long time. I think traditionally uh, the way we start is to learn everything we can about a tumor. And so the first thing to do is to use a set of data in which you have lists of DNA mutations and ways of killing cancer cells and to look in that data to find a relationship between a mutation like this abnormal protein in lung cancer and a way of killing that lung cancer cell. Once I figure out a particular target that we're very interested in, we pass it on to our synthetic chemists here at the Broad who then do a lot of hard work to synthesize different molecules, make drugs that would be specifically hitting our target. What is the future of this research and how will it change medicine? Right now, about 5% or so of cancer patients receive one of these targeted therapies. And that's the reason it's 5% and not 100% is we don't understand all of the relationships between genetics and drugs that we want to. So I think targeted therapies have already profoundly affected the way we think about medicine. And in fact, there's a whole field of medicine called precision medicine or personalized medicine that has evolved around targeted therapies. 
Another way that targeted therapy is transforming medicine is that soon it may be necessary for every cancer patient who comes into the clinic to have both their normal genome and the genome in their tumor sequence so that we can figure out what mutations and other alterations are present in the cancer cells and then select the appropriate therapy. And it's this type of scientific project, like the one you're doing in class, that's the very beginnings of figuring out how you find relationships between those DNA mutations and ultimately drugs.